You purchased the TouchChat app and now you're ready to get started with your AAC learner. Welcome to TouchChat, start your engines. On this journey, we will learn about copying a vocabulary file to customize, picking out a voice for your AAC learner, personalizing the vocabulary file by editing a button, how to update your app, and how to back up your customized vocabulary file. We will also take a look at some great free online resources to help you continue to learn about TouchChat and how to implement it. The first thing you will need to do is choose which vocabulary file your AAC learner will be using. Work with your speech language pathologist to determine the best fit. Then we need to make a copy of that vocabulary file before we can start editing it. Tap on vocab in the upper left corner of the screen. Then tap on choose new vocab. In the upper right corner, tap on menu. Select copy of vocab. Scroll down the list to the vocabulary file that you want and tap on it. Give the file a name. This could be the user's name. Give the file a description, like the name of the vocabulary file. This is very helpful if you are looking for resources to support a specific vocabulary file. Then tap on Save. You will now see the file in the list with a green lock next to it, meaning it's a copied vocabulary file. Tap on the file name to open it. Next, you will want to select a voice to be used in the TouchChat app. TouchChat offers synthesized child and adult voices from acapella, Omagu, and Apple. To choose a voice, go to Menu, then tap on Settings. Scroll down to where it says Speech, then tap on Voice. Scroll through the options you see. Tap on the speaker to hear a preview of the voice. Hi, I'm Ella, one of the high-quality text-to-speech voices. If there is a cloud next to the voice, you will need to download this over Wi-Fi. When you find a voice you like, tap on the name of the voice to select it. Rate will adjust how fast the spe voice speaks. Left is slower and to the right is faster. Voice pitch allows you to make the voice higher or lower pitch to further personalize it. Tap on done when you have set up the voice. I like it. Next, you will want to explore the vocabulary file and find where some of your AAC learners' favorite words are. Most vocabulary files come with lots of pre-programmed words, but there will be places to add in personalized vocabulary. Work with your team on determining what words are needed and where they should be programmed. Use the Making It Personal Planner to brainstorm some words you may want to add things like their personal information, people in their life, things they enjoy doing or playing with, their favorite foods and drinks, places that they go, medical information, pets or favorite animals, or any other favorite things, places, people, or sayings. Having these words available can help motivate your AAC learner to be engaged in communicating about things that are important in their life or that they enjoy. Let's see how you can edit a button to start adding these into their vocabulary file. You can add personal information in WordPower on the social page under Personal and Questions. You'll see there are buttons for their name, birthday, and where they live tap on Menu, then Edit Page. The red ribbon across the top lets you know you're in edit mode. Tap on the button you want to edit, then edit this button. The button label is what you will see on the button. The button message is what the button will say when pressed.
You can adjust the pronunciation of the words on the button under alternate pronunciation. Now you can personalize the image that you want on the button. Tapping on Select Image allows you to choose a symbol from the symbol library. You can search the symbol library by tapping on the magnifying glass in the upper right corner of the edit menu. Scroll through the list and choose the symbol you would like. Tapping on Import Image will allow you to take a picture with the iPad camera if you choose a simple stick symbol of a person, you can change the skin tone of that symbol here. You can further personalize a button with these options. The button actions are what the button will do when pressed. Tap on save. You can continue editing buttons on this page. When finished, tap on done in the upper left corner. Keeping your TouchChat app up to date will assure optimal performance and add new features and settings when they are released. PRC Saltillo announces new updates on the website blog, in email newsletters, and on social media platforms. To check on what version you are running, go to Vocab, then choose new Vocab. At the bottom of your screen, you will see the version of your TouchChat app. To update the app, you will need to go to the App Store on your iPad. Exit your TouchChat app. Make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi in order to connect to the App Store. Then tap on the App Store icon. Go to the Person icon in the upper right corner to access your account. Apps that are have available updates will be listed here and tapping on Update will begin updating the app. Exit the App Store. Once the update is complete, go back to the TouchChat app icon. When you have finished customizing your TouchChat app, you will want to make sure you have a saved copy somewhere. You don't want to lose all your hard work and personalization if something were to happen to your app. There are many ways to back up your custom vocabulary files and transfer them to your preferred storage space. Refer to the Backup and Transfer Quick Reference Guide for more information about each of these options. To back up your vocabulary file, go to Vocab, then choose New Vocab. Tap on Menu, then Import Export Vocab. You can choose to export to iTunes, use Dropbox, or to Export and Share. Let's select Export and Share, and then scroll to find your customized vocabulary file. Review or change the file name, then tap on Done. For Export and Share, you will scroll through the options and select where you want the file to be shared to. By selecting Email, you will be prompted to enter an email address to send it to, and TouchChat will attach a copy of the vocabulary file to the email. Email. When the email is received, save the attached backup on your desktop, another iPad, or a USB drive. Visit the TouchChat app website to find more great resources and to keep your system running smoothly. The Learning Center offers support articles and video tutorials to help you continue to learn more about the TouchChat app. Want to go further with your knowledge of TouchChat and how to implement it with your AAC learner? Visit PRC Saltillo's AAC Learning Journey website to register for live webinars or take a self-paced e-learning course. Customizing TouchChat Part 1 and 2 are great places to start. YouTube is another great resource for tutorials, implementation strategies, and to see TouchChat features being demonstrated. It is great to have a team in your corner to maximize your AAC learner's experience. Connect with your regional PRC Saltillo AAC consultant to get more information about fundable AAC devices with the TouchChat app. Thank you for choosing TouchChat and letting PRC Saltillo be a part of your AAC team.